Uh, less than a week ago, billionaire Richard Branson ushered in a new era of civilian space travel, launching into space on his Virgin Galactic Passenger Rocket Plane. We all watched it, and now Jeff Bezos, you may have heard of him, <laughs> he gets his turn with its own first. News Nation correspondent Marky Martin joining us live from Texas tonight to tell us how Blue Origin's crew is going to span several generations, to say the least. Hey, Mark. Yeah, hey, Rob, that next billionaire space launch is happening in just five days. Jeff Bezos is set to launch out of West Texas next Tuesday. And as of today, we can officially tell you that inside that rocket, inside that one capsule, will be both the oldest and the youngest astronauts to be launched into space. Come Tuesday, July 20th, Bezos is spacebound. It changes you. It changes your relationship with this planet, with humanity. It's one Earth. He'll take flight inside his Blue Origin rocket out of Van Horn, Texas. The Amazon founder slowly revealing who he'll be taking along with him, starting with his brother Mark. I was just awestruck. You seriously? If you're willing, if you want oh to. God. And then female pilot Wally Funk. At 82, she'll be the oldest person to travel to space. We're going to fly you up into space on the very first flight. That's your... your... <laughs> the world was later alerted when the last empty seat was bought anonymously at auction. $28 million. What a day. But according to Blue Origin, that wealthy winner is choosing a future flight instead, citing scheduling conflicts. And as of today taking their place is 18-year-old Oliver Damon. Little is known about the Dutch teen, other than his father was the auction's runner-up winner and chose to fly his son instead. Space yeah, News journalist uh, Jeff uh, Faust uh, telling uh, News Nation uh, he thinks the teen's participation will be inspiring. I don't think it's a matter of experience because the, the whole goal of efforts like uh, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic is to provide experience to a whole different set of audiences, different people who would not uh, otherwise qualified to be professional astronauts to get a taste of space flight. So to have a, a young person and have an old person on the same flight, um, you know, I, I think we're, we're seeing a, a pretty broad base of people who are flying. We haven't yet heard from Oliver, but if he's anything like Wally, the excitement is hard to contain. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! I can hardly wait. <laughs> Now, Oliver did write me on Instagram just a bit ago and just forwarded me to what seems to be the family publicist. Now, we do know he graduated from high school last year. He's taking a gap year to get his private pilot's license, and then he'll be studying physics uh, in the fall at a Netherlands university. Now, as for how those two flights differ, a couple different ways the spacecrafts are totally different, but also mainly with height, Rob. You know, the first flight went about 55 miles. Bezos is traveling past the Kármán line. That's that imaginary boundary in space that international agencies consider to be uh, the edge of infinity and beyond. So there's been a little bit of a billionaire beef, if you will, about who's going further. Are you telling me that billionaires have an ego? I'm shocked to learn that, Mark. <laughs> Breaking news right here. You heard it here first, Rob. <laughs> Huge development. Marky Martin live in Texas tonight. Thank you so much.